My first and most important tip is that your guinea pig needs a friend. Guinea pigs are herd animals and are lonely without a partner. They cannot communicate with us humans, so even if you're home 24-7, your guinea pig will be lonely. A human is not a good replacement for a guinea pig friend. Very often, the more guinea pigs you have, the tamer they will get, as your more cheeky guinea pigs will teach your shy ones that they don't have to be scared of you. Two females or males are great for a start, but if you have the chance of providing enough space for more guinea pigs, I recommend at least three piggies in one group, as three will form their own little herd and will really motivate and stimulate each other. My second tip is that most of their predators come from above, so it is no surprise that your guinea pig is scared of everything that is moving from above, including you at first. Allow your guinea pig to flee into a hidey house and to stay there if it wants to. You can talk to it and maybe offer something your guinea pig likes, like parsley or a small piece of bell pepper, and wait for it to come out. I really like big wooden houses for guinea pigs, as they are dark and provide good shelter, or willow bridges, as you can bend them in whatever shape you want them at the moment. When it comes to food and pellets, I usually inform myself on a website which is called Deep Brain. It is a really awesome German website, and even though Google Translate can be a pain sometimes, you can easily translate it using Google. I will link the translated page down below if you want to have a look. They offer information on almost all smaller pets, and this is the best guinea pig website I ever came across. If you don't like using Google Translate, there are also a lot of other guinea pig websites in almost every language. But I really recommend on reading a lot of guinea pig websites when you first get your piggy. My fourth tip is to avoid all colorful looking mueslis for a guinea pig. If you want to feed pellets, stick to the plain, boring looking ones, which only consists of pressed hay. You can also leave out pellets completely in your guinea pig's diet, as they don't really need it. If your guinea pig is used to pellets, you have to slowly feed less and less of the pellets and after 4 weeks you can completely stop feeding them. If your guinea pig is not used to vegetables at all, you also have to slowly change their diet. You can start with a small piece of carrot or fennel and feed it to your guinea pig. If there are no stomach problems, you can move to the next vegetable. Salad and cucumber contain a lot of water, so if your guinea pig is not used to any veggies, Feed these last, after you have tested out every other vegetable. My fifth tip is that the most important items when you first get your guinea pigs are hidey houses and tunnels, a clean water bottle and a hay rack. Everything else can come later. My next tip is that most guinea pigs don't like to be picked up, so don't be surprised that even though your guinea pig is not scared of you, it runs away when you try and pick it up. Only pick up your guinea pig if you have to and immediately reward it with a piece of veggie so that it will remember the experience in a positive way. And my last tip is do a weekly health check with your guinea pig. Write down its weight every week so that you'll notice if it suddenly stops eating. In general, if you know your guinea pig and if you spend a lot of time with your guinea pig, um, you will notice if it's sick. Guinea pigs are really good at hiding their illnesses so sometimes it's really hard to detect. If you notice that something is wrong, immediately go to a bed. You can Google the illness and you can look online, but that won't really help your guinea pig. Immediately go to a bed. Let me know if you have any other tips or if you would like to know more about something. And that's it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video.